In a quiet corner of Willowbrook, an elderly woman named Mrs. Mabel Simmons, affectionately known by the neighborhood as Miss Mabel, was a constant presence, with her silver hair always tied in a neat bun and a dress that seemed suited for church. No matter the day, she had lived in the same modest home on Maple Avenue for more than 50 years. Her husband had passed away 10 years prior, and her children, now scattered across the country, rarely visited. Loneliness crept into her days, but her morning walks to the local park offered a sense of comfort. Willowbrook Park was the heart of the neighborhood, where families gathered for picnics, teens played basketball, and elderly friends shared old stories under the shade of the great oak trees. Among those teens were Jaden, Lisa, Corey, and Rachel, a close-knit group who spent their afternoons gossiping about school or playing pickup basketball. One warm afternoon, Miss Mabel sat quietly on her favorite park bench, gripping an old weathered photo album. Something about her seemed off, though. Her usual calm demeanor had been replaced with nervousness. Her eyes darted around as if searching for something or someone. The teens noticed the change in her and exchanged glances. Jaden, ever the leader, signaled to his friends and they walked over to her. Excuse me, ma'am, Jaden spoke softly, making sure not to startle her. Are you okay? You seem a little lost. Miss Mabel's grip on the album tightened. What do you want? She asked, her voice trembling with fear. The teens froze, realizing she was frightened. We're not here to bother you, Lisa said gently, flashing a reassuring smile. We just wanted to see if you needed help. I don't need anything from you, Miss Mabel replied, taking a small step back. Please, just leave me alone. Corey stepped back, creating more space between them. We didn't mean to scare you, he said, hands raised in surrender. Rachel, who had been quietly sketching in her notebook, observed Miss Mabel closely. The elderly woman's posture was tense, her shoulders hunched as though she was protecting herself. Miss Mabel's foot slipped as she took another step backward, nearly falling. Jaden instinctively reached out to steady her, but she recoiled from his touch. Please don't touch me, she whispered, her voice strained. Jaden froze, his hand still outstretched and quickly apologized. The air between them felt heavy with misunderstanding. The teens genuinely wanted to help, but Miss Mabel's fear ran deep. Sensing the tension, Lisa suggested they give her some space. We'll just be over there. Jaden said, pointing to a nearby bench. If you need anything, we'll be right here. The group backed off, sitting on the bench a short distance away, watching quietly as Miss Mabel remained frozen in place, still clutching her photo album. After a few minutes, Jaden noticed she hadn't moved. He exchanged a glance with his friends, silently asking if they should try again. They nodded. Jaden stood up, approaching her even more cautiously this time. I'm really sorry we scared you, he said. We just want to make sure you're okay. Miss Mabel's expression softened slightly, but she still looked guarded. Why do you care? She asked quietly. Because you're part of this neighborhood, Corey replied from the bench, his voice gentle. We look out for each other here. Rachel put down her sketchbook and spoke up. We see you here often with that photo album. Is there something missing? Miss Mabel hesitated, then sighed. I... I've lost something very important to me, a photograph of my husband and me from our wedding day. It's the only copy I have. Rachel's eyes widened with empathy. When did you last see it? She asked. About a week ago, I was showing my album to a friend and I must have dropped it somewhere. Miss Mabel's voice cracked as she spoke. We'll help you find it, Jaden said immediately. We'll search the whole park if we have to. For the first time, a small smile appeared on Miss Mabel's face. Thank you, she whispered, her eyes brimming with tears of gratitude. The teens sprang into action, organizing themselves to cover different areas of the park. Corey searched around the basketball court, Lisa scoured the playground, and Rachel focused on the benches and walking paths. As they combed through the park, they asked passers-by if they had seen the missing photo. An hour later, they regrouped. No one had found anything. Jaden shook his head apologetically. We haven't found it yet, but we're not giving up. Lisa stood up and faced the others. We need more help. Let's get everyone in the park involved. Soon the entire park was buzzing with people of all ages searching for the missing photograph. Rachel, using her artistic skills, quickly sketched a portrait of a young couple on their wedding day 
based on Miss Mabel's description. She handed copies of the drawing to volunteers to help guide their search. Meanwhile, Corey approached a group of elderly men playing chess near the gazebo. Have you seen a photo like this? He asked, showing them Rachel's sketch. One of the men, Mr. Harris, squinted at the drawing. That's a beautiful picture, he said, nodding. We'll keep our eyes open. As the community came together to help, the teens noticed how deeply moved Miss Mabel was by the outpouring of support. She watched with teary eyes as strangers and neighbors alike searched for her lost memory. Just as the sun began to set, Rachel felt a tap on her shoulder. It was a man in his 40s, holding a small frame in his hands. Excuse me, he said. I think I have something that belongs to her. Rachel gasped. It was the missing photo. When the man handed the photograph to Miss Mabel, her hands shook as she took it from him. Tears filled her eyes as she gazed at the image of her and her late husband, young and in love. Thank you, she whispered. The man smiled warmly. I'm David, he said. I bought this photo at the thrift store earlier today. I didn't know who it belonged to, but something told me it was important. Miss Mabel looked up at him, her breath catching. David, could it be? Are you? David nodded. Yes, Aunt Mabel, it's me. I've been searching for you. The missing photograph had not only reunited Miss Mabel with her memories, but had also brought her long lost nephew back into her life. The teens stood in awe as they witnessed the emotional reunion, but they weren't done yet. Inspired by the day's events, Jaden turned to his friends with a spark in his eyes. We should throw her a party, something special, to show her how much this community cares. The next day, the park was transformed. Families brought food, neighbors set up tables, and Rachel painted a mural depicting Miss Mabel and her husband on their wedding day. When Miss Mabel arrived, she was overwhelmed by the love and support surrounding her. As she stood in front of the mural, tears streaming down her face, she looked at the teens and the crowd that had gathered. I don't know how to thank you, she said, her voice trembling with emotion. You've given me back a piece of my heart. You've shown me that I'm not alone. The teens smiled, knowing they had made a difference, not just by finding a photograph, but by helping Miss Mabel reconnect with her past and her community.